Hello YouTube, I'm going to be talking with you um, how to care for Indian stick insects. Now this is my Indian stick insect tank at the moment. I would say this probably isn't a big enough tank for over one um, over one stick insects. I at the moment have got two in there, but that's only the purpose of cleaning out and from them fertilising the eggs. It's very easy to clean the eggs out. Um, it's a lot easier if I had a bigger tank. If if I did have a bigger tank, it would be a bit a lot harder, sorry. Here is my two stick insects. They are fully grown, that's why they are fertilising eggs. I have two females. And the people who don't know much about st Indian stick insects will think, two females laying eggs, that is very awkward. Um, but it is very, it's natural. They don't need a male to fertilise their own, they just fertilise their own eggs um, using themselves, basically. It just comes natural. So here's an egg here, there, and at background there's some poos, but just there's an egg. Now you can tell the difference between an egg and a poo. Um, this camera isn't very good, so you can't really see the difference. But the poo would be quite long and jaggedy, and the egg would be very round, and it will have like a different coloured or a lighter coloured cap at the top. So that's how you can tell poos from eggs. Uh, what stick insects eat is very, very, very easy to get, and it's basically free, unless you haven't got any of this substance from miles around. What I feed my stick insects is ivy, and I will show you this close up, because some of my friends don't know what ivy is. So if you don't know what ivy is, then you'll have a nice look. I'll get a leaf. Um, it's type of a heart-shaped leaf, so this is one piece of the ivy. I mean, it really is very, very heart-shaped. Um... So this isn't a great example because they're not always like this. But they climb on people's houses and they look a lot like that. So this is kind of what they look like. Um, what you need to know with an Indian stick insect is they are... Don't just chuck them in the cage and leave them. They, you do have to have some responsibility over them. They will live for a year or less, so you have quite a lot of time with them um, since they are stick insects. Uh, insects is quite a long time that they live for. Um, my insects are about five or six, uh, no, seven, six, seven months old now, so they're just laying eggs. I've got a couple in the tank over there. Um, what you need to do with the stick insect when you do get it home is that you need to keep it in there for a couple of days to calm it down because even a stick insect could get a bit stressed. So you just need to calm it down and leave it in the tank for a couple of days before handling or cleaning out or whatever you want to do with the stick insect. You can get tanks anywhere basically. And you can get from a dump, which people don't want anymore. Just make sure that the top bit, where they do have, oh, they should have a lot of air holes, isn't too far apart as the stick insects can easily get through. But these ones, I had my stick insects when they were babies in here, so this is also a very good baby tank for stick insects. Um, they couldn't get through it, so it's very, you need it very, very small. The stick insects you can see when they're healthy because they're quite green, but there is some cases that healthy stick insects can go brown. But if it goes quite dark brown, then it means that they're not getting enough nutritious food, or they're getting too much sun, or not enough water. So it could be either one of those, or it could just mean that they're close to dying. So it's very, you have to kind of choose which one you're going to do and then keep on going until it gets green again but on my camera it looks brown but my sexual the actual colors of my stick insects are both green now indian stick insects do have quite a distinct color because near their armpits there will be red spe red lines um it's usually not when they're fully grown because i think when they're fully grown you can see that they're laying eggs but they definitely are, would be quite big when they are having that um, red streak under their armpits. So you can't even see the red streak now at the moment because they've got their legs crossed at the top. Um, they are nocturnal, but they don't make at all much noise um, at night. My bed's just here, and they are there, and they don't make much noise. Just the occasional one of falling off from the ceiling. They do have a lot of eggs so make sure that if you want stick insects you have to deal with a lot of baby ones very soon afterwards when you get your little baby stick insect they um have i said the age have i said that they live to about a year or less i might have i can't remember 
Um, they are Indian stick insects, as you can see from the name, they do come from India. And they are they obviously need quite a warm, damp climate as they live in the rainforests or water area type thing. So they do need it quite damp. And I will show you how to spray the insects, stick insects today. Um, all my stuff don't you need. All you need is um, a spray bottle which can spray. Um, this is a old cleaning bottle, but I have filtered it out very thoroughly with lots of water and shook it, and it's all perfectly, no chemicals in it whatsoever. So it shouldn't have any chemicals in it, and it should be just spraying. I just need to do it. I have to test it. So what you do is you open the cap or the doorway to the stick insects, and you just spray both ways. You don't have to do it directly at the stick insect. That's why I'm showing you how to do it now, because some people think that you have to do it directly at the stick insect. But I don't really do that. I just let them do it on the plants. So as you can see in the walls, it's quite damp. I will now show you my stick insect eggs. Oh, one thing I forgot with these ones is that they like um, not just have leaves at the bottom of their tank with ivy or whatever you're giving them, to have some branches that they can climb up because they like climbing and they can sleep underneath the branches. Anyway, um, here's my stick insect egg pot. All you need is basically an old container which you don't use anymore, or just like a food pot. And you can put holes in either side for them to have air. And I lined mine with tissue paper. You can have a closer look in a second. So here it is. So as you can see, I've lined mine with tissue paper. And there's around um, 57 to 60 eggs in there. So there's quite a lot, and that's over a period of about a week. They have laid that many. Um, <clears throat> the room temperature that should keep the eggs going is around 20 to 25, so mid-20s basically, to keep the um, temperature for them very nice. Um, they will hatch in around three to four months after they have been come out of the sticky sect. <laughs> um, but I keep mine near the fish tank so it's kind of cooler, and near the radius so it's very middle. So that's quite good, and they have some sun, even though the adults wouldn't appreciate having sun as they don't like it. That's about it for how to care for stick insects and eggs. Oh, apart from you don't need to spray the eggs unless they're looking very, very dry and shriveled up. Because otherwise, if you do spray them too much, they all get mouldy. And I sprayed mine a tiny bit once, and they just went mouldy the next day, so I only sprayed my tiny bits. But I never really spray mine anymore. So that's all you need to know about how to care for stick insects. Thank you, and bye-bye.